So we got these four nails, but like I was saying, it was very important. Fungus is very irregular, not uniform. Both second toes look the exact same. Both big toes damaged, thickened. And that's because probably the four, you're a very fashionable guy. You see how the toes are curling in like this? Yeah. A lot of that causes pressure on the nail. And over time, that pressure probably damaged the nail, made the nail thick, made the nail damaged, and that's what allows potentially fungus to get in. But the real problem is the damaged nail. So we're gonna clean everything up, make everything look nice, treat it like a fungus, and we can see does the nail improve. Okay. If it does, we know the, the big problem was the fungus stopping the nail from connecting. If it doesn't reconnect, okay. it's because the nail was permanently damaged. Gotcha but it's a good game plan. So nothing should hurt. Sure. And of course these nails are very difficult to, to take care of yourself. Yes, that's why I haven't cut them for a while. I go to that place where they do the nails. Yes. The petty nail, and they're the ones who do it. But I now, how, it. now how do they do? Tell me. They use the same kind of a clipper. They put it in the water, soak it for a while, Yep. and then they use this clipper. And how low can they get on these? Pretty good? Or do they just mostly for these ones cut straight across? Uh, they do it pretty good. Okay, that's they good. Do, good. do they ever buff or file the nail? Yes, they do. Okay. And some nice young ladies are doing it, so you don't mind getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> I hear. So I actually opened a nail salon next door. Uh-huh. Where they have the same tools as me. They know how to really buff and manage it. Okay. If you do enjoy getting routine foot care, Right. They can definitely be taking care of okay. this right next door. Okay. Um, it's uh, the same office, right? As long Number as pretty girls are there. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in a wig. <laughs> no, they, we got some nice ones. <laughs> yeah, the girls are great. They do a great job and they look good. So there you go. It's a okay. double bonus. <laughs> so. But this one, do they normally just cut just mostly a straight across and a light buffing on top? Yes. Okay, yes. so we're gonna see truly today how much of this nail is actually attached. And like I said, black, blue is not really fungus. It's a lot of it's dry blood. So, okay. and that's because there's so much pressure that the nail's getting bruised. So that means there is bleeding taking place under the nail? Think of it more like bruising. 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 Because there's just so much pressure. And we got a lot of dead skin in here. So this one definitely, I feel, is way more connected than that right one. The right one's definitely looser. But the secret, little by little, yeah, let's take it, it down. And, and there's no harm in trying. And then again, really a lot of people, let's say if they've tried the topical, not working. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're not able to take the oral medication. Mm -hmm. Then we talk about the removal, if depending if you want to treat it. Now, one thing that is a treatment that sometimes people forget about is just maintenance. It's okay. just, just maintaining this, buffing it down on a regular basis, just trimming the nail short mm -hmm. and just dealing with it as is. That's, that's also a treatment plan for, for thickened nails, for really tough nails that might have fungus. Okay, let's, let's try the it works. So it looks like it's pretty much attached up to here. And we'll be buffing this down. That's good for now on this one. This one, I think that one we're able to take much more down. This one looks way more lifted. And then the secret is the buffing. And that's what a lot of places don't do aggressively at the nail salon because they're kind of maybe scared of how much to take down, which is, I agree, they should not be doing if they don't know. They do buffing, they have a little gadget. They do, but you're gonna see how far I'm gonna buff it. We're gonna buff anything that's lifted, dead, completely off. Yeah, I don't think so. They go that far. They just do a little bit. A little, yeah. They're just trying to take some of that um, thickness off. So same thing on this one. Just getting that little bit lifted part off. And then the buffing is the secret. Mm -hmm. Now what actually also happens, we'll talk about those dark lines that sometimes you can see in the nail. Mm -hmm. When we have darker skin, mm -hmm. we get hyperpigmentation in the nail. Okay. 
Okay. Have you ever heard of a keloid scar? It's scarring that sometimes is thicker, abnormal look. Mm -hmm. It's not a nice smooth scar. And that's because sometimes some certain skin textures just don't heal well. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these black lines is because of the darker skin. You see the face, how you have those sometimes marks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we can see this, there's different discoloration. Right. That a lot deals with dark skin. So African descent, Asians, Latino skin, we get these black lines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's not fungus. Okay. It's just natural nail change from wear and tear. Okay. Again, fungus really is yellow, white, green. For sure. And again, there might be a portion, but the real issue is the damaged nail. And so we have a lot of people coming in treating their supposed nail fungus mm -hmm. but it's really just a damaged nail and it's never going to get better you doing okay over here yeah 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 and so you've never seen a foot specialist before i've never seen a foot specialist i have a uh, one of my daughter's uh, friend who's a, a foot specialist but he doesn't operate in canada okay he's in buffalo because for some reason he says canada doesn't recognize that uh, they don't so he went to buffalo and he's a uh, podiatrist there and so he's doing it practicing there okay so i sent him a photo and he told me that there is a problem with fungus and the same thing what you're saying blood so best i go to see a foot specialist Okay. So, talking to him, then talking to that nail guy, nail girls who do it, all and doctor telling me. So I decided. I said I should come and uh, see a foot specialist. Good for you. And your clinic was recommended a couple of times. Doctor Sarah Ali, your maybe your age, young fellow. Okay. He said this clinic as well. Pardon? Did he choose this clinic? Oh, th that's the podiatrist. He's a podiatrist too. Yeah. yeah. He's in Buffalo, actually. Well, if, if, if you ever message him again, mm -hmm. you should tell him that you saw the Toe Bro. See if he knows who that is. Okay. That's that online character that I am, <laughs> where I post all this content. And so he might, he might know about he it. He might know you, yep. yes. Dr. Jonathan Tommies, correct? Yes, and no doctor, just Jonathan Tominis. Jonathan, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they don't recognize that degree, doctor? Uh, there's no new podiatrist in, in Ontario after the year 91. They decided to copy the mm -hmm. England model of mm -hmm. chiropody instead of podiatry. Oh, and see. so what is crazy, all new podiatrists that just graduated in the States and come here cannot register as a podiatrist. They have to register as a chiropodist. And the big difference is we don't do bone surgery, just soft tissue. Soft tissue. Versus a podiatrist, if they've been trained, they can do bone surgery. So there, here, they feel limited, which they are. They wouldn't be able to do their bunions and hammer toes. So that's the big issue here. So very similar actually, how much is attached. We're gonna really buff down the nail and see what's hiding underneath. Okay. That's, that's gonna be the good part. Okay. So we are talking and you're recording all that, you like to edit all that. We, yeah, I do lots of editing. I do lots of editing. <laughs> but it's gonna be, again, it's, it's always interesting to see what's gonna be hiding underneath. They don't have all these kind of machines there in the same salon. No, a little bit different. A little bit different, yeah. Okay, let me file down. Yeah. These nails, nothing should hurt. Let me put this one out here. Get my feet nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of cold water. And we're going to see what the nail is really looking like underneath. Again, nothing should hurt. That's why that cold water is so nice. 
And so when you do feel something sensitive, you just let me know that means we're down to the normal nail. And so when I look at this nail, it's relatively uniform in color. To me, this looks completely normal. It was just these abnormal layers that allowed maybe fungus to get in there or just because it's thicker, has a different color to it. The only pink you see at the very end, uh -huh. there's a little bit of red. Yeah. That is, is blood because that is the tip of the nail bed that might be being compressed or damaged and causing the bruising. But that's not fungus. You see how it's a more of a uniform color now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a normal nail, just a damaged nail. But again, because of the skin color and texture, sometimes it makes the nail look so much worse than it is. So to me, this looks like purely a damaged toenail. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one. Let's see how this one is. Okay. So you, were, you sit back for a second to get comfortable. Yeah. The, show's go, the show's still going. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how, what happens with this black nail. If it crumbles apart, stays together. Usually I try to trim off as much as I can first, but it was really holding on. So we go to the buffing. And sometimes what we get is we get bleeding or bruising in between the different layers of the nail. And I'm hoping that some of it starts to pop. Yeah, some of it starting to come off. So now you can see more of the red look. No pain? Not so far, no. So we're starting to see healthy nail come through or this dry blood is coming off. Again, when I see black, blue, red, it's not really fungus, it's blood and trauma. And of course, this nail was very thick. Yes. And, yes. and with stylish footwear, there's just no room for the, for the nail if it's thick. You do, please. you do, you do. And you do look good, so there you go, you're Thank doing you. your job. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. So you might not have felt it, but I think you really banged up or there's maybe a day of too much walking that really traumatized the nail. Okay. There's one part that I can get, but it's very thin. So I think we just buffed all the way down to the softer part of the nail bed. Okay. There's nothing wrong, but I might not be able to get all of this off. We'll see, it is, we're getting to the very bottom. We basically buffed the whole nail off. Okay. But that didn't even hurt you, did it? No pain? No pain so far, no. And there's no bleeding, this is all dry blood, but an extreme amount of it. So to be safe, we can definitely apply antifungal here okay. but seeing how everything's reacting it's just a traumatized thickened damaged nail and it just needs to be maintained well so it doesn't ever get super thick where it looks like it's fungus because of the darkening and the multiple layers if we keep the nail nice and thin we won't have any issues so the, again the more I'm looking at this it looks completely normal not fungus so to me our game plan is either maintenance, where we're doing this every couple months, okay. or you remove the nail forever. Well, I think we need to do maintenance for now and see how it goes. For sure.
That's as much as I can get, but it's getting a little, the, the nail bed is very, very soft. So there's no open wound. Okay. But we basically drilled through the whole nail bed. Yeah, now I was feeling a little sensitive. sensitive. I agree. Yeah. It's very soft. But to me, there's no real fungus. It was all my, like I told you, as the nail gets thickened and damaged, it lives maybe within the layers, but that's not the real problem. The real problem is that the nail was traumatized and damaged. Now there's nothing wrong using the antifungal medicine because it just protects that new nail that's growing in. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do anything after today, or don't ever maintain it again, it's gonna come back. It'll look the exact same way. Yeah. And potentially fungus gets in in the lifted damaged portions and then we're back to square one. Mm -hmm. But to me, it looks healthy per se, no fungus, just damaged. So you can see I couldn't get all the blood off because it's getting very sensitive, mm -hmm. but you see how it's very pink? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the end of the nail. That's the whole, everything down to the nail bit. Mm -hmm. How's it look? It's looking much better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and next time we come in, we will be able to buff down the rest of the red. Okay. And then it'll be a completely pinker looking nail. And that's it. Beautiful. One down. Okay. So within another six weeks time? I think, looking at it, okay. I think we can go a little bit longer. I think you can go two to, to three months. Okay. We really took down a lot today. It really was able to get yeah, up to be much, much better. Much better. And the big problem with a lot of places is they don't know how much to take down. So you can, I was aggressive, mm -hmm. but it's because we do this every day. I know that I can take down a lot more right. and not cause any damage. The so last one here. Yeah. Look at the difference between the two, huh? Yeah, definitely there's a big difference. So again, I don't see any signs of fungus in that. That's looking just like a damaged nail, which is normal, wear and tear, which is great. It means it's, it's a good thing for you. Let me do this one. It means, you know, you don't have to feel like there's something wrong, there's no infection. It's just that the nails have to be maintained regularly. So let's see how this one looks. When we have very thick nails, mm -hmm. that multiple layer, let me get this focused. The, the multiple layers of nails really change the way the nail looks. Makes it look more yellow, abnormal, but once you remove all those extra damaged layers, we get to the more healthier pinker nail. And so there's, that's why there's some people who are taking the oral medication for years. They're using the medicine topically for years and nothing's changing. It's because it's not really a fungus, it's just a damaged nail. And so again, the, the purple, the, the blue at the tip of this nail here, that is all bruising. So the T2 I was using didn't do anything? It wouldn't do it, no. It wasn't doing anything, no. No, I know why. <laughs> and even if you were using prescription strength, I don't think it was going to do much. Because again, there's no real fungus here. Once you remove all the thick nail, it's just a damaged nail. And so, black, Red, purple, not, not fungus. So this is bruising because again, there's too much pressure in your footwear. That's what's, what's happening, okay? It's part of the problem of looking good. Yeah. Runners, runners get a lot of these black toenails and damaged toenails. Guys who wear dress shoes, construction shoes. Right. Because again, just wear and tear on the feet causes that damage. So we can see on this side, you see it's getting much pinker, yeah. whiter, healthier, yeah. but we have a lot more bruising on this side. And again, that that is just, and it's good the other podiatrist said that, not, the bruising is dry blood. Dry blood, yeah. Not, not fungus. But, and I think this is a big problem with your skin color. Mm -hmm. It makes the nail look so much more darker, yellowy. And looks at, it does make it look like they're probably fungus, but after taking it down, it, it looks very good. Mm -hmm. 
So, do you have insurance, sir? No, I don't. So this is the other thing. Uh -huh. That topical medicine, Jublia, mm -hmm. very expensive. Okay. $100 a bottle, uh -huh. and you're gonna need probably a bottle every month. Oh. Okay. Yes. And truly, this doesn't look like fungus. So if you want to be super preventative and use it, you can, but it is gonna cost you a lot of money. To me, after buffing everything down, this looks clear. It just looks like a damaged nail. So maybe... So then regular method coming to you is better than... I agree. Or at this stage, you can go to the nail salon next door. Yeah, okay. Right? We'll Th this, that. that's, that's what we're looking. This is all complete bruising. Look how much healthier that looks. Again, if this gets sensitive, you let me know. Looks good and he's tough. Oh, ho, ho. that's a good combo. But I know it's getting thin there because we had some trauma or bruising. Yeah, that is good. The nail's completely intact. It's not crumbling away. It's not showing some abnormal signs of fungus or it's literally just a thick nail that we just buff down and it's just bruised. Okay, good. So we don't have to come every six months, uh, six, weeks. six weeks, because we're not doing any topical treatment. Okay. I would say, if you can do, are you able to cut the smaller ones or no? Uh, I can cut the smaller ones, yeah. Really, if you manage the smaller ones, uh -huh. you know, or if how often were you going for pedicures before? Or is it? How often were you going for pedicures um, before? Every month and a half, two months. You could definitely get away with every two months. Two months, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Now they're just trimming the nail here. They'll just keep the shape of the nail. Right. And that's it. Okay. And okay. next door, they know how to handle these thick and damaged toenails. They'll know how much to take. They have, that. They have the same drill I do. Okay. Cool. And the same tool. So they'll be able to do that really well. Okay. So it looks good. So I'm pretty safe to say there's no fungus. It's just purely a damaged nail. Oh.